All right, hey guys, how you doing? It's Kiba here once again with King Kaze and Ace Kill. Yo, what's up? Uh, we're shooting shit today again, and today we're talking about Sony needs hello, Nintendo hello, hello. to be very successful me? to thrive. So <laughs> uh, we saw an article right. on Destructoid. Okay. Ace just trying to get this basically pick up saying uh I didn't pick up too much bullshit that just picked up my they boy. need Nintendo's healthy competition to bring in a new generation of gamers that are primarily on mobile devices so this is probably going to play into uh me and Kaze's disagreement on the Vita but this article, essentially, in my opinion, is Sony saying, hey, our handheld sucks, so we kind of need Nintendo to keep people playing handheld games instead of Android games. Well, I, I see it where as it's more as the Vita is geared more to a mature audience where anyone can pick up a Nintendo handheld, a DS for it. I, okay, but then it, it calls into question, why are so many initial gamers drawn so much to the Nintendo DS instead of the Vita when there are plenty of titles, especially right now, because most of the games that are out are really launch titles, especially now when most of those games are supposed to be family friendly. Yeah, and I get it, but I mean, to, to remind you, the article is is talking about um, how mobile games are continuing to grow and parents th this is an ablet from the article but parents deal, are you know instead of spending a lot of money on consoles or handhelds they're just giving the kid a smartphone or what have you and installing Angry do. Birds or whatever the fuck okay, and, but that's the thing. And, it's, the, it's the way they phrase well, it the way they and, phrase. well hold on and Sony's Holy thing shit, they're all over there on that corner. is to try to see or get Nintendo to get the this younger generation of gamers into the consoles where they can use controllers because all they're doing is using touchscreen phones or whatnot to play their games. It, it's not about uh, the handheld themselves. It, it's about transitioning these gamers just from using tablets and smartphones yeah. or whatever to actually having consoles and controllers in their hands. Yeah, and you see, this this is what I took from the article, uh, pretty much expanding a little bit on what you said, is that Sony wants Nintendo to be successful to kind of wean the the new generation of baby gamers into right into the the more uh, the more mainstream and uh, I guess you could say hardcore brands because. Generally, Nintendo has been known mostly for making very simple, easy to get into, family-friendly games that a child could play, and it, it, it's kind of like their their gateway game. Yeah, I mean, so, okay, so even, I don't I don't disagree. Yeah, I mean, even when I was a kid, I mean, the first console I had growing up was a, a, a Genesis, a Sega Genesis. But when I wanted to, like, play some games on a go when I wasn't doing shit, I picked up my uh, Game Boy and started playing Pokemon. Because, okay, so... and, and it was easy. It was simple. And I, that simplicity is what appeals to uh, this demographic. And um, they're, it's not like they're going to get into the Call of Duties right away and the Halo. Okay, so I can't disagree. Like, I definitely get that people who begin playing you know, these handheld games, they sort of get into the depth that comes from them as opposed to, you know, Android games. They want to play with a controller. They want a game that takes them a little bit further. Um, I get that, and I'm, I, I can't even disagree with that. But to me, it's more about what this article... It's, it's the way it's phrased that says a little bit more than that. I think that Sony knows what's happening with its, its handheld. Like, to me, this sounds more like an admission. Like, we can't handle the handheld market. I think they're pretty much saying, yeah, Nintendo's got that locked down. Because if that's really what... Look, okay, so they say they're both a part of the same group. And that's true. But they need them? Do they really 
need them to like there's so many ways he could have said that like this guy's a businessman there's a lot of ways you can word that but to say we need them to introduce uh young gamers to uh playing games with controller dude you have a system of your own two of them and the last system before the vita was definitely more accessible to a younger audience and it was super it was super popular too so why why did they go in this direction like it would have been one thing to say okay well the competition keeps people within the gaming market and they could have just left it at that but it's more like well i don't think we can do it without them that's the way i i feel like this article is going well well there is there is something i read earlier and um i don't know if i can have a link to description or if i can even find the article but um the playstation 3 was almost it almost destroyed Sony. It didn't become profitable until like uh, 2011, which is like, you know, that's a little bit after they that. rolled out the uh, the first slim model, I think. Yeah, yeah, it it didn't become profitable until 2011, and now Sony, a company that used to be known for Walkman and having the best of everything, like like if you want to buy something, it had to be Sony because that was the best of the best. But now, the brand Sony is simply associated with PlayStation. PlayStation and Sony are pretty much the same thing now. Yeah, they still have TVs, but PlayStation is the only thing that's making them money, to be honest. So, yeah. for... Yeah, yeah. So, they they probably won't but that's put in the resources to, to have something like that happen. Like, they needed the PlayStation 4 to be successful. Or else they they were probably going to go out of business, to be honest. But that's what makes it all the more damning, especially in this context. Okay, so look, this was an opportunity to say, hey, well, if they like the Vita, they could play the PlayStation 4 as well since they both link up. I mean, imagine it if your dad or your brother likes playing the PS4 and your kid gets a Vita. Well, look, that's a way to introduce him to gaming. He could have said that. I mean, I mean, even if you wanted to bring up the PS3 and its compatibility with the PSP, even though there wasn't much. I mean, he's a businessman. You can you can say that sort of thing, but he didn't. Instead, he expands so much on why they need Nintendo to be successful, and that scares me a little bit. As far as Sony's future is concerned, especially within the handheld market, especially considering that we don't even know if this is going to be, if there's going to be a next gen after these consoles. I mean, I get we're a little early in, but everybody's sort of like, what's going to happen next? Yeah, I mean, especially since they're expecting consoles to last for ten years. Yeah, so so that that's what's scary too. That's what's scary about it. They're pretty much openly admitting, okay. yeah, Vita, not so great. All right. I mean, that's subjective. I'm like, I want one, Just but I don't have enough good reasons to get one, and I sort of feel like. Like it's the same reason for a lot of people, shit, even for an away. older audience just looking at the amount of games there are. Like, it, it, I love Sony, but when I look at the Nintendo DS, that's a, that seems like a much better option as far as how many games there are to play and how many of them fit the sort of categories I want to get into. And it, in the same thing, I could even get that for like my younger uh, sibling. You know, I feel like they'd want to play that. Whereas if I got a Vita, it'd be kind of like, yeah, I guess, you know, it's, it's cool, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you have any? Anyone have any last thoughts? We have a video that has to be wrapped up here. So, any last thoughts on this? Kind of, kind of scary stuff. Sony's future in handheld is shaky. Okay. Uh, stay in school and don't do drugs. Actually, do drugs, but don't do the hard stuff. Okay. So, so just like pot and LSD, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe try some shrooms. Uh, but, but you know. <laughs> Don't okay. take this as legal advice. This isn't <laughs> medical advice. We're not doctors. You didn't hear this from us. We're not professionals in any way other than doing gaming? these videos. Other yeah. than gaming. Yeah. So if you end up dead, it's not our fault. All right, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time. Later. Love you.